Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Eugenie, Beatrice and, and Piers Morgan. I never thought I would put these names together, but based on the pictures that we've seen online recently, on Twitter and also on the Daily Mail, these three people are in cahoot, or maybe two people, I should say, meaning Piers Morgan and Beatrice. We thought that Beatrice and Eugenie were close to uh, Prince Harry, at, at least for Eugenie, I thought so. But it seems that they are working with the, the darker side of the uh, of the force, right? Because they were seen dining with Pierce Morgan. Well, we're not sure if they dined together or if he was there, if they met and they said hello. But the fact is, Beatrice was seen hugging Pierce Morgan. I know it's terrible. When I saw that, I was like, what? Yeah, she was hugging Pierce Morgan, right? We didn't see... Eugenie hurt Pierce Morgan. We didn't see any picture of Eugenie with Pierce Morgan. But still, it's a disappointment, right? It's a disappointment. People were saying that Beatrice and Eugenie are very close to the Sussex. They're supporting the Sussex. And I always said that maybe Eugenie is supporting the Sussexes and she's very close to Prince Harry. But Beatrice, no, she's just playing a game, just like her mom. I think that she wants to be involved with royal stuff. So she's playing the game with the royal family. And she's being included in everything royal. And she was even given a uh, patronage recently. Right, and I think that she's playing on both both cards, something like that, or games or whatever. And also, if you remember back three, I think three weeks ago, I posted a video about the media trying to pitch the uh, York against the Sussexes with stories of Meghan Markle and Harry no longer getting along with Eugenie because of what their mother said during interviews, right? And I was like, the leaks were not coming from the Sussexes. If something was leaked, it would come from the York camp, right? But I said that I, I doubted it was uh, Eugenie, but I thought it was Beatrice or the mom. But I see here that I wasn't wrong. Remember that video? I might put the link here at the bottom so you can go and watch And it's so disappointing. It's a blow, right? It shows that Harry and Meghan are alone. They can't trust anyone. Even if Eugenie is not in cahoots with Pierce Morgan, right? The fact that she she is close to her sister and whatever Meghan and Harry tell her, she might talk to her sister and the sister, since she's close with those people, might go and leak the information. So now Harry and Meghan will not trust Eugenie either, which is sad because they had such a great relationship. It's really sad. It's a bummer. It's a blow. Seriously, if as fans of Meghan Markle, we are so surprised and we are in shock, imagine what it would be for Meghan Markle and Prince Harry when they see the, these pictures. And I think that the Daily Mail knew that. That's why they published these pictures to show to Harry that he can't count on, on anyone. He really cannot count on anyone. I'm going to go back to the video I did about Meghan Markle and her half-niece, remember, Ashley? And in that video, I was saying that I didn't trust her, but some people on this channel were trying to convince me that I shouldn't be so suspicious, that I should trust people, we cannot be suspicious of everybody, and that the Sussexes know what they're doing, and they know who they're surrounding themselves with. But this proved that I was right. You can't trust anyone. The Sussexes should not trust anyone at all. Like even close family, careful of what they say or how they behave or what information they're passing on because they never know where he is going to land. I think this is a blow. I'm so disappointed. As for Eugenie, we didn't see her taking a picture with Pierce Morgan. So we can't say that she's a good friend. You see that she actually left before the rest of the group. She did not engage with Pierce Morgan. But Beatrice showed, Beatrice knew that she was being filmed. So she showed her allegiance to to Piers Morgan. She saw the world that she was close to him, friends with him, and maybe sending a message that she was not friends with, with Harry and Meghan. That's a blow. That is sad, but that's how it is. That's how it is. Which makes me think that Harry and Meghan did good with leaving the royal family and moving out of the UK because they were dealing with snakes, double-headed snakes, because these people, you never know who they are affiliated with, who they talk to, who they are friends with. They are supposed to be against the press, but then see them have dinner with the press and you don't know which is what. Seriously, I'm laughing now, but I mean, it's just it's ridiculous. And it's regrettable that 
Prince Harry can't even trust his own family. He can't trust his father. He can't trust his brother because they're going to leak information, play against him. He cannot trust his cousin either. The one he was close to because she's close to her sister, who in turn is, uh, you know, dining with the enemy, if we might say so. And that same Piers Morgan was talking on Fox TV today, slamming Harry and Meghan for, uh, between quotes, milking the royal titles when his good friend Sarah York is doing just that. She's divorced. She's been divorced for like 30 something years, but she's still using her Duchess of York titles for everything, selling cupcakes, selling books, selling this. He doesn't seem to be annoyed by that, or upset by that. We now know why. And if you remember, I did a video a few days back, we talked about Sarah York, and I said that she was not to be trusted because she was the one who sent a support letter to Pierce Morgan when he was fired. See, I mean, this is a blow. I saw that coming. You cannot trust anyone like never ever in a million years i do hope that none of the girls are godmothers to uh, harry and megan's children because that would be sad that would be sad i'm shocked i can't believe it i was supposed to post another video about megan markle and her appearance during a ted talk but I, I dropped that to post this because i was so shocked by what i saw the pictures i saw they can't trust anyone they really can't Okay, that, that's, that's life, actually. That's life. Let me know what you think. Hope you like the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.